blessings and blessings. What's up, family? Wow, this, this is bright coming in here. My hair looks like crazy. I just got out of the water. Um, and I wanted to jump in because I had a, an interesting conversation with a friend of mine, a former client turned friend, um, about three incidents that have happened over the last, uh, really two, couple years, but he was speaking to a few incidents that happened uh, some recently. And I wanted to talk about it because I think it's a big deal. And I wanna sort of draw the distinction between um, someone like myself and trends and popularity. Uh, hello, Katarina. Good to see you. Um, so, uh, I received a message from a friend who wanted to have a conversation and give me feedback about, hi, Livy, um, about me commenting on a few people who have um, attempted to essentially just copy exactly what they learned from me and rename it something else and charge less. And uh, he was saying, you know, which is beautiful, you're in a league of your own, there's no point in you ever saying anything, et cetera, et cetera. Is this scarcity, da 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 da. Um, and there is, um, so that's one instance. Another instance was, and this is a tactic that a lot of people do in marketing where they'll, um, you know, they're new to coaching and an industry or whatever industry, and they'll find a Facebook group that has all the people that they want to have as their clients and they'll pretend like they're there to serve, but really they'll be looking to poach clients. And recently I had somebody take, um, man cave, bless his heart, um, take it word for word, like legit was like, I'm just gonna steal this, repackage it, resell it for <laughs> a lot less, and um, eventually came clean. And here's what I wanna say. It's all fun and games until somebody kills themselves until somebody has stage four cancer, until somebody is really dealing with some real shit, and then it's not. And a lot of coaches right now are jumping in because it seems like easy money and they want significance, they want praise, they want what everybody else appears to be having. And there's a big distinction, and I'm gonna toot my own fucking horn because this is my truth between somebody who's doing it because they want uh, significance and money and somebody who really gives a fuck about humans and knows what to do when shit really hits the fan. Case in point, you guys know that I've launched Stretch 22. You know that people are putting in applications, all that stuff. I had an application come in um, and I got on a call with somebody who I saw immediately was not qualified not qualified to work with me. This was a 16 year old kid and if you're watching this, my man, I love you, I appreciate you, um, and I'm, uh, I know you get this. In his application, three different times, it said um, pretty much weekly I think about killing myself, um, so I just thought maybe I should just try this one last thing. And so instead of me saying, you know what, fuck that, I'm not gonna talk to this guy, He's, he can't afford my program, he can't, he's not old enough, I said, I'm gonna spend my time on the phone with this guy and I just wanna talk to him. Because I was 16 once, and I know, because I've been in this work for 11 years, deep in, dealing with some of the deepest shit you can imagine. Not many coaches can actually hold what they say they can. So, I get on the call with this kid, and it's true. And he's doing lots of drugs, and uh, he says his parents don't give a fuck about him, and he just doesn't see why there's a point to even being here. Now, am I gonna take this kid's money? Of course not. But you know what I did? I said, you and I, for the next three months, 
are going to do have a contract. And I said, you're going to text me every two weeks telling me, because we, we talked about the drugs and we talked about some of our life stuff, and I said, listen, brother, you're not alone. And that voice in your head is bullshit. I know it. As a 38-year-old man who was once 16, I know in your 16-year-old brain, everything seems so heavy and so real. It's not real. And so we made a contract. I'm not gonna tell you the rest of it because that's him and our business. I even spoke to him yesterday two days after. Now, I bring that up and there's lots of other things like that where because a lot of people copy certain things, right? They copy information, they package it well, but they're not actually qualified to support humans. And what we talk about is opening up Pandora's box and not knowing how to close it. It's all fun and games when it's, you know, rah, 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 and quit your job and go, you know, travel the world like, cool, awesome, yes, and there's a place for that. However, um, and this is to you coaches out there and this is to people who hire coaches. Make sure that you, you, you really take a look at this person's life. What bleeds off of them? Here's the thing, there's people Lots of people, I see some of them on here, like Amber Valdez, Lily, Livy Godson, who would do this work and have been doing this work for free. I've been doing this for a long time with not a penny, for seven years, not one penny came into my account based on this work, not one for seven years. So hear me, it's all fun and games until shit gets real. And my friend asked me, you know, is this, are you living from scarcity, et cetera, et cetera. And I said, listen, brother, what separates me from most people is I'm willing to say what most people won't. Now, people copy shit from me all the time, all the time. And I say absolutely nothing. I have seen videos on YouTube that are word for word what I have said in another video. Word for word, not like, you know, like start to finish besides saying their name different. And I've said not a single thing. But when it comes to people um, taking the work and the curation that Alexi and I have done and the years of deep in practice and then repackaging that, but it's the same exact thing and pretending like you can actually hold it, I'm gonna call that out. So I have three times three times in a year. It's happened 30. So, um, if you're a coach, hear me. Do your due diligence. Don't tell people you can hold certain things that you can't. Because we're talking about um, real people and real lives. And I have, um, and some of those people are on here. I have worked with people who have been on the edge of wanting to end their lives. I've worked with people who have had diseases. I've worked with people who were deeply out of alignment with the truth of their being. And uh, that stuff, you know, bleeds out of my soul. Okay. Um, I love each and every one of you. I'll talk to you soon. Kingston is doing sleep training, so we're about to take care of him. Blessings and blessings. If this resonated, tag somebody, share it, whatever. All good. I just want to get it off my chest. Love you.